if you haven't seen the last video, do go check that one out. That was where we actually built the box that we are, uh, you know, putting all the PC parts into. For now, though, I just wanted to make sure that all the parts I have actually fit into the, uh, you know, effectively the case or desk uh, part. And luckily and happily, they do, um, which is obviously quite nice. There are a few alterations and changes I do want to make to this in the future, but for now, this is how it's going to look. Now, use the can of basically just B and Q spray paint, uh, obviously outside in a well ventilated area, um, to basically do the sort of main coat and then we picked up what are essentially tester pots uh, of black matte paint as well to do a little bit of touch-ups on the things that the spray paint couldn't quite get to easily uh, and also to paint the edge and the sort of rim of the table uh, which means that when you put the glass down on it it actually looks like it's black from you know the, the bottom of the glass all the way down into the PC box which actually looks really awesome and I like the way that that one sort of sits. There are as I said a few alterations and changes that I do want to make to this in the future especially with uh, regards to sort of functionality um, and airflow and all that sort of stuff so uh, they will potentially come in an update uh, later on, but otherwise this is basically how it looks. Attaching it to the table was fairly simple, we just drilled through the table and into the box and then uh, countersunk the holes and then used basically the biggest, thickest, largest screws that I could find. Uh, and in total I have seven holding it up, uh, sort of staggered around the corners and, uh, and in the sort of middles and that sort of thing. Um, which seems to be doing a very good job of holding it up, so yeah that's uh, pretty much it. Right, so um, I've done a couple of screws. Um, I've actually found that the way that I need to attach this at the moment, the uh, water cooler, um, is a bit of a pain. Uh, and so it's, uh, it is attached, it is secure, that is how it will currently be. Um, but it is a little bit of a pain and I need to do a couple of little bits to sort of sort it from very slightly moving forward and sort of tilting over. But um, I think that once the pump is in place properly, like something like that, it will hold it nicely as well. Um, otherwise I need to sort of hoover it out a little bit. Um, and this cardboard piece here, uh, for those of you who are wondering, is the bit that the motherboard's actually going to sit on top of just to make sure that there's no shorting by the paint or uh, generally that the paint gets on the motherboard in any way. Um, so that's basically just to protect it a little bit. Um, uh, we've started painting the edge as well, uh, as you can see not quite finished. Um, and the next job is to attach the power bar underneath uh, to that sort of wall there. Um, so that I can uh, have a nice clean and tidy desk.
so to explain what you're seeing here, this is basically my uh, one of my few, or actually one of my many oversights in the uh, the project. Uh, I did space the uh, box quite far away from the back of the desk that, so that I'd be able to attach the cables relatively easily and that sort of thing. Uh, but what I didn't really account for is the thickness of the wood, which basically, well, it's easy enough to actually attach the cables and the cables don't have much strain on them or anything from you know, a tight bend or something. Um, it does mean that it's actually quite difficult to actually uh, you know put the cables in so that's um that's an interesting thing so as you can see the pc is working and when i say the pc i mean the one that's under there my editing pc i need to do a few changes to it copy footage over but um for the moment i think the real moment of truth that we're all including me <sighs> waiting for um is will this pc start now there's an amusing aspect to this at the moment which is that I haven't actually built a power button in. Luckily the motherboard does actually have a power button on it at the top so I'm going to be uh, oh, lifting the glass, reaching in and uh, pressing the button for uh, the very first time which is mildly nerve-wracking. Um, but uh, yeah because uh, if anything's gone wrong um, this, I give up. <laughs> um, Right, so hopefully everything's plugged in. Um, as you've seen in the footage before, it was a lot of a pain uh, and I really should have thought about that, but um, I didn't. But everything is plugged in. There's uh, a USB hub on the monitor. There's this USB hub here. Um, and if I want to plug in headphones that aren't uh, a USB set, there is a headphone jack there. Um, and I'm going to turn, actually the speaker's already off. Um, right, so moment of truth, right? <laughs> So finally the PC is in, the, the box is attached, all the parts are in, uh, the glass fits, and when I say the glass fits I mean it fits uh, almost perfectly in one direction uh, and quite loosely on the other. Um, there are a few interesting quirks about it as well. Uh, I'm actually quite happy to say that my leg room is actually pretty decent. I will have to get used to occasionally knocking my knee on the sort of slanted side, but I think putting a slanted side on it was a good idea, uh, although what, now that I have all the stuff in I realise that there's uh, a few few interesting things that I could could have done better like I could have made it shorter in uh, both directions um, and that sort of thing and uh, just made it a little bit more user friendly for me uh, and of course actually doing it properly but um, yeah otherwise it's, it's pretty decent I'm happy with it it looks awesome especially when it's on and the LEDs are on that sort of stuff um, although I will probably need to hot glue or at least uh, sort of uh, better than the adhesive tape that's on the back of them um, as uh, attach the LEDs but uh, other than that, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think uh, it's been uh, been an interesting ride because, as I said, um, I am in no way a professional. I have very little woodworking experience. Um, I have very little fabrication experience in general. I am a tech viewer by trade. This is just something fun and amusing for basically uh, you guys to laugh at me uh, using a £23 uh, B&Q jigsaw um, and some sandpaper making a, a box to hold a PC. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's um, that's kind of that really. Uh, I said I, I hope you've been enjoying the project at the very least, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all for the final conclusion where we kind of show you all off what it looks like once it's all sort of set up and able to play games. Um, I'll be doing some benchmarks as well just to let you know um, how it's going and uh, how generally pretty awesome it is. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and all that sort of stuff. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more updates. And of course, uh, even after the project is finished, we'll still be doing the regular Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos. So do stick around for those as well. And uh, yeah, I just I hope you enjoyed the, the project. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video.